Welcome back to TM365, where we explore the most astonishing stories about this world. Have you ever imagined thousands of brand new cars or an entire fleet of massive cruise ships worth millions of dollars being discarded simply because they are obsolete? This is the story of the largest industrial graveyards on the planet. Is this waste evidence of breakneck development or a wound created by our own civilization? Without keeping you waiting, let's dive into the world of sleeping steel. Forget everything you think you know about maritime retirement. We invite you to peel back the curtain on one of the most haunting, colossal spectacles on the planet, a place where multi-million dollar titans of the sea meet a deliberately shocking end. What unseen force compels engineers to drive perfectly functioning, immense cruise liners straight onto a remote beach for complete annihilation? The answer lies nestled on the coast of Aliaga, Turkey, the world's undisputed capital of ship demolition. This isn't a museum or a quiet resting spot. It is an apocalyptic industrial landscape where the steel skeletons of global voyagers lie stranded, stretching for miles like the aftermath of some metallic slow motion whale fall. Imagine the impression or the magnificent fantasy. Ships that once ferried thousands in luxury across open oceans, now reduced to inert, sun-baked shells, awaiting the brutal kiss of the cutting torch. Doesn't it make you wonder what fatal, invisible flaw sealed the doom of these modern marvels, even as their powerful engines remained fully capable? The most astonishing secret is in the execution, the sacrificial ritual of grounding. When high tide swells, these enormous vessels are not gently steered to a dry dock. What if I told you that the world's most staggering testament to modern waste isn't a landfill overflowing with plastic, but a silent, sprawling cemetery of brand new cars? Prepare to witness a scene that defies rational explanation, hidden deep within the economic landscape of China, the planet's largest automotive graveyard. This isn't just a haphazard dumping ground, it is a meticulously arranged, yet utterly abandoned, metallic sea stretching farther than the eye can see. Thousands upon thousands of pristine vehicles, many having never driven a single mile, are left to bake under the relentless sun and rot beneath the pouring rain. They stand bumper to bumper, forming endless sterile rows, where the only signs of life are the creeping vines and towering weeds now aggressively reclaiming their sleek metallic shells. This raises a pressing, almost unbelievable question that demands an immediate answer. How could such colossal, immediate obsolescence strike so many high-tech vehicles at once? While commonly dubbed a true graveyard, parts of this colossal site serve as a temporary holding area, a bleak technological purgatory for cars awaiting owners who will likely never arrive. The sheer density forces these machines, built for speed and utility, into a tragic, stagnant existence. Weeks turn into months, and months melt into years, accelerating a brutal degradation that strips the value from every chassis. Once gleaming showroom models slowly but surely transform into weather-beaten relics, creating what is indisputably the world's largest electric vehicle boneyard. The site sparks immediate curiosity and a gnawing sense of financial tragedy. Why are these virtually untouched, high-tech vehicles being discarded so mercilessly? The devastating answer lies in the dramatic implosion of China's once booming electric vehicle ride-sharing market. It is a haunting technological echo of the bicycle-sharing bubble that burst just a few years prior, but amplified exponentially by the scale, cost, and complexity of the product. This massive wave of abandonment stems from countless failed tech companies, ambitious startups that were either too slow to innovate, too poorly managed, or simply overwhelmed by an impossibly fast-moving regulatory environment and cutthroat competition. Beneath the smog-tinged skies of China, a bizarre and unsettling landscape has emerged. The Colossal Bicycle Graveyards, truly the largest mechanical boneyards on the planet. Forget everything you know about city recycling. These are not mere junkyards. They are sprawling, metallic cemeteries, towering monuments born from the ashes of a short-lived technological frenzy. The scene defies comprehension. 
hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of bicycles are stacked so high they resemble vibrant, man-made mountains of discarded rubber and steel. Now a familiar and deeply disturbing sight across China's largest urban centers. But the real intrigue lies in the sheer level of waste captured within these mountains. Look closely and you'll see the shocking truth. Intermingled with the damaged frames are countless bikes that are virtually pristine, shiny, and heartbreakingly new, tossed aside in an act of staggering obsolescence. Why this incredible, uncontrolled discard? This catastrophic visual is the direct legacy of China's explosive bike-sharing bubble, which just a few short years ago saw services flood the streets in a race for market dominance, a race fought without effective regulation or sustainable strategy. When the bubble inevitably burst, the discarded fleets were rounded up, creating these enormous, unintended landfill structures. Forget the wonders of the ancient world. A colossal, manufactured monument to modern excess exists on Earth. A scar so profound that its dark mass registers clearly on orbiting satellites. What monumental mistake are we truly observing? This is without exaggeration the planet's largest tire graveyard. A staggering testament to unchecked consumption and catastrophic waste management. Picture, if you can, the sheer volume of 7 million spent tires amassed in a single location. Now, multiply that figure sixfold. For decades, a sprawling, designated site in Kuwait became the involuntary final resting place for discarded rubber, drawing discards from across the region and beyond. Today, this desolate abyss harbors an estimated 42 million exhausted tires, not haphazardly scattered, but methodically stacked into looming, artificial hills that beggar belief. Why was such a toxic mountain allowed to grow unchecked? The answer lay buried in decades of infrastructural failure and environmental negligence. Yet the true horror of this rubber necropolis wasn't its size, but its volatility. Between 2012 and 2020, this monument to global waste erupted in devastating flames four separate times, generating toxic pillars of smoke and fire so enormous they became infamous landmarks visible even from the International Space Station. Imagine the chilling environmental catastrophe, vast, poisonous plumes of black smoke choking the atmosphere, an ecological disaster demanding immediate radical intervention. Authorities were finally cornered into a fateful decision, permanent closure. Where do the behemoths of a fallen empire go to die? Prepare to journey into a chilling secret, the world's largest tank graveyard, located near Kharkiv, Ukraine, a mere 40 kilometers from the Russian border. This isn't just scrap metal. It is the ultimate mechanical mausoleum, hosting nearly 500 derelict Soviet-era war machines retired from active service. The site, once a colossal tank repair factory, failed abruptly in 1991, leaving behind its iron inventory to the unforgiving march of time. Now, hundreds of decaying armored vehicles and obsolete equipment lie strewn across the grounds. It is a haunting tableau, where rust is the dominant color and silence is the only sound. Ranks of antiquated tanks stand immobile, many with their imposing turrets having finally succumbed to gravity and age, slumped down onto the chassis like defeated giants. Look closer, and the true extent of the neglect becomes apparent. Dense, wild grasses have aggressively reclaimed the territory, often soaring higher than the gun barrels themselves. Have you ever considered the haunting aftermath when a global superpower abruptly slams the brakes on motorized transit? Tucked away in the fast urban sprawl of China lies what can only be described as the planet's most colossal vehicle cemetery, a silent, staggering monument built entirely of discarded steel. These aren't just isolated scraps, they are monumental heaps of rusting metal, piled higher than houses, creating eerie landscapes of wasted potential that defy belief. The sheer scale of this regulatory fallout is difficult to comprehend. 
following the enforcement of drastically tighter emissions and usage policies, China began seizing and scrapping millions of motorcycles and even four-wheeled vehicles annually, leaving them to decompose under the open sky. How many is millions? It is truly regrettable to witness these enormous assets being wasted, purely due to economic cycles and outdated regulations. But hope always lies in recycling technology. If you were shocked by the scale of this waste, please hit the like and share buttons on this video so everyone can learn about it. Don't forget to subscribe to the TM365 channel so you don't miss our next discoveries.